Hello everyone. So tonight is first light for my ASI 2600 MC Duo camera and I'm testing it out on my C11 Edge HD Hyperstar version 3. So this version of the Hyperstar only supports up to an APS-C size sensor. So that's a 27 millimeter imaging circle and it uh, doesn't work with full frame or anything larger like that but since the opening in front of the ASI 2600 MC Duo is an M54 opening a lot of people online have been wondering about whether this camera will work with, uh, with a telescope that only supports either a full frame or a crop sensor like an APS-C sensor so I wanted to experiment tonight and uh, get you an answer and this Hyperstar has an M48 adapter on it but it is still only rated for APS-C so I'm not expecting the, si the stars along the edges to be very good at all and uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be well corrected uh, where the guide chip is because that's quite far out uh, outside of what you would normally expect from a, a telescope with an APS-C imaging circle so we'll see if this works and uh, yeah let's get started So I'm using Nina for testing. I'll bring the temperature down to zero degrees Celsius. So this is my first test of the ASI 2600 MC Duo camera with my really fast optics, the Celestron C11 Edge HD with Hyperstar at f2. I just finished focusing and this is with the Hyperstar for C11 version 3 which is a fairly, uh, fairly old uh, version of the Hyperstar. It's looking pretty decent near the center, near the very edges at the top, still pretty decent. Bottom, a little bit elongated, so that might be due to camera tilt. Bottom right is looking pretty good, and top right is looking pretty decent as well. So this is without any tilt adjustment on the camera. This is with an M48 adapter, which I had ordered just so I can avoid some more clipping, uh, which is what I would get if I was using my old M42 adapter there. And uh, now a lot of you were also wondering how the guide camera would work. I have it open in sharp cap. So this is the uh, ASI 220 monochrome that the guide uh, camera uses. Now it's out of focus right now because this is the first time I've plugged it in but as you can see even at the edge of, uh, of an M48 opening on optics that were only rated for an APS-C sensor I am actually getting pretty good stars or fairly bright stars. I mean, they're not in focus, but they're fairly bright. And this is only with a half second exposure. So if I go with a quarter second exposure, bin two, and I can auto stretch again. I mean, it's still surprisingly they're there. Okay, so I focused my camera. This is the guide chip on the ASI 2600MC Duo. That is the ASI 220M mini guide chip. And let's uh, set the exposure time to something reasonable that we would normally use, for example, one second. And let's reset this value here. And now we'll just auto stretch. So you can see the number of stars it's picking up. This is absolutely mind boggling because I'm using it on an optic that it's not even rated for. I'm using it on, uh, on uh, an optic that's rated for an APS-C sensor. And um, you know the opening in front of the SI2600 MC Duo is an M54 opening. So they recommended M54 uh, or at least an optic that supports a full frame sensor. But even using it on an optic that only supports up to an APS-C sensor, you'll have absolutely no issue finding guide stars. Uh, I mean, my optics are fairly fast, which is probably helping. But at the same time, what we're looking at is supposed to be way outside the rated, uh, you know, area. Uh, so the stars are a little bit deformed, but still way better than I was expecting. So I'm not uh, expecting any sort of an issue guiding like this. In fact, let's uh, try guiding right now. I just uh, got focus. So let's switch over to Nina. Let's uh, pull up PHD and close down. Uh, there we go, disconnect the camera. 
and we'll open up PHD and uh, connect the camera here to PHD connect all and uh, yeah let's select this star I haven't done any actual uh, calibration yet because I wasn't actually planning to do this but yeah, yeah let's let's just do a calibration I'm actually quite close to the pole so this is not recommended and I'm not gonna get good calibration right now but I have to attach a longer cable tonight I'm, I'm just experimenting a little bit this isn't an actual imaging session so we are guiding my polar alignment is very very off because I just set up this mount right now uh, nothing has been calibrated properly this is just a quick test of the camera but from what I'm seeing here first impressions it is looking very good it's having absolutely no issue guiding on the stars even though they are a little bit deformed uh, so let's take a quick shot over here okay so here is the result stars are pretty decent I have to do some uh, tilt adjustment likely or calibrate the hyperstar a little bit more the guiding is going quite well uh, of course I need to I need to work on this but still not too bad 0.46 arc seconds per pixel uh, for the guiding even though I'm imaging at probably about um, 1.4 arc second per pixel or so so yeah it's doing fine we don't uh, we're not checking to see how well guiding is going but yeah it seems to be working perfect so yeah uh, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so when the full review comes out you'll be the first to know thanks for watching and clear skies